So how is anyone supposed to get excited about a boxing magazine when it has a picture of Ronda Rousey on the cover wearing some USC gloves and it says, she conquered MMA, is boxing next? What the hell? And then to make matters worse, I'm seeing a ton of other publications and websites saying things like, Ronda Rousey is the undefeated UFC boxer. What in the hell is a UFC boxer? Okay, so first of all, has Ronda really conquered MMA? I mean, her next fight is against Holly Holm, who is apparently ranked number seven in the UFC's women ban women's bantamweight uh, division. She somehow moved up in the rankings just by being announced as Ronda's next opponent. And then Ronda's last fight was against Bech Kohei, who somehow moved up um, two, rank two spots in the rankings just by being beat by Ronda. So we have Holly Holm, who is 2-0 in the UFC, and I don't think she's fought a top 10 opponent. And Bech Kohei was, had three fights in the UFC, and I think maybe one of her opponents was top 10. I'm not even sure if the other two are still in the UFC. And um, I'm sure everyone's seen the video. I didn't really want to uh, put it up, but, you know, here are a couple pictures. I, I don't like to um, rub it in or make, you know, you know, make fun of them or whatever, but uh, this is just pictures of uh, Holly Holm getting brutally knocked out because I know... Uh, if and probably when Ronda uh, beats her, they're going to say, you know, she beat the best female boxer ever. And I mean, how many boxers do you guys know that gets brutally knocked out like that, where she's just caught in the ropes and everything? So, um, you know, I, I don't think she's conquered MMA. Uh, she hasn't even fought um, Chris Cyborg, who, uh, when they were both in Strike Force, uh, you know, obviously Ronda was. The USC champ, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Strike Force champion at 135. Cyborg was at 145. Ronda wouldn't fight her then, and she won't fight her now. She has a ton of excuses. Um, I don't want to get into all that drama because that doesn't really matter. But, um, I mean, basically, uh, you know, to put on a boxing magazine, I mean, we all saw her last fight uh, with Betch Kohei. She was just, you know, Ronda was still in these sloppy haymakers. Uh, she did end up. You know, obviously knocking out Betch Kohei, but I'm pretty sure uh, any of the top five UFC uh, females would have knocked her out. Um, and in the process, I mean, Betch touched uh, Ronda pretty good too. I mean, uh, she Ronda's always saying how she can beat Floyd Mayweather and whatnot. I mean, uh, when you see that fight, I mean, it's pretty obvious she wouldn't even... I don't think she would have hit Floyd once with those, uh, you know, with her hands. I, I don't know, man, but... Um, and you know it gets pretty disrespectful. I mean, every every um, every chance Ronda and Dana White get, they uh, you know they 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 try and destroy uh, Floyd's character. I'm not I'm not even that big of a, a Floyd Mayweather fan, but um, you know the way I understand the way I understand it and what Floyd has said uh, numerous times is um, I guess when Dana was on the come up, he you know he had a little gym or something, and he was trying to get a little promotion or manage, manage fighters or whatever. And he asked uh, Team Mayweather to, um, you know, wear his, uh, his logo, you know, kind of like, like a sponsorship. And I, I think, you know, uh, Roger and uh, Floyd Sr. and whatnot, they, uh, they, they wore it and they didn't even charge him. And to me, man, when someone does you a solid like that, you know, you're appreciative. You don't, you don't just slam them every chance you can get. <clears throat> but, um, that's what it is. So, um, as far as, you know, Ronda being on the cover of Ring Magazine, uh, man, I think, I think it's disrespectful to, uh, to all the boxers. I mean, she, she's, uh, 12, I think 12 and 0 in the UFC. And I think this, this fight, her recent one was actually a knockout, but they're all arm bars other than that, man. It's, uh, you know, it's disrespectful. And I don't know what, um, Oscar's motivation was if, uh, if Dana White paid him a lot, if um, if they have some deal when uh, if and when Ronda starts boxing, if 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 Oscar will be the uh, promoter, or if you know maybe Oscar just wants to get some booty, I don't know, man. But it, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. There's um, 
you know, there's always been this, I mean, it is a different crowd, but there's always this little competition between uh, the UFC and boxing. And um, they're obviously, you know, the UFC is taking a lot of market share from uh, boxing. So you would think he would have uh, some integrity in the sport. You know, uh, Oscar has one of the best resumes in the game. You'd think he would, uh, you know, continue to try and build the, the name of boxing. But, you know, in any event, um, it's not, I mean, it's not just uh, Ring Magazine. I mean, Ronda was put on the um, the cover of, uh, I guess she was the Sports Illustrated Athlete of the Year. I think not even the, the female athlete, just the athlete, which is crazy. I mean, that's really disrespectful to, you know, people like Serena Williams, who, uh, I, I know they did put her on the cover, I think, what, like twice in the past 17 years or something. I mean, she's been dominating for a decade and a half or two decades and... Ronda's been doing UFC for a couple years, and she's an athlete of the year, but I guess that's what it is, man. So, um, you know, and uh, it, it's just a lot of stuff that uh, I think is kind of kind of disrespectful with her, her being on the um, cover of uh, Ring Magazine. And, um, you know, even like, I, I just think she's not a, she's not a good representation of even UFC, let alone boxing. I mean, uh, she's always talking about you know, other people's personal lives. She's always, you know, telling Floyd he can change, I guess, because this domestic, uh, this domestic violence case. And then um, he, her, she herself is dating Travis Brown, who allegedly uh, beat up his wife. And he's still married to her. Why, uh, why uh, you know, there, she um, Ronda Rousey's sleeping with him. I guess you can call her a home wrecker or whatever. It just doesn't make sense. She's so critical of others, but... Um, Man, she's she's definitely not not much of the role model. So uh, I just you know I think it's a bad move for Oscar. His um, you know Golden Boy Promotions. He's lost a lot of his stable. His roster's getting pretty thin. And then um, you know you would think he'd use his his uh, publication to build boxing, but um, I guess he chose to go with Ronda. But anyway, uh, hopefully the next issue's better.